everybody, and welcome to Pony Arcade. I'm Power Up. And I'm Fetch Quest, and today we're talking about... The Top, top 10, 10 Androgynous Characters in Video games. games. Number 10. Taking the number 10 spot is that stubby pink ball of cute hailing from Dreamland, Kirby. This upbeat, skill-stealing little guy takes the number 10 spot due to his pink complexion and rosy cheeks. With his squeaky voice and pudgy physique, the last word you'd use to define him is manly. Number 9 Whether she's battling Mother Brain on Planet Zeebs, collecting bounties on intergalactic space pirates, or just kicking a little ass in Smash Brothers, Samus Ran gets her number 9 spot. Sure, now Samus' gender may be old news, but when she first made her appearance in Metroid, players who beat the game in 5 hours or less had their collective minds blown by the idea that this bounty hunting badass from space was a woman. Setting the standard for female protagonists for decades, and setting herself firmly in our number 9 place, Samus is strong, silent, and sexy as hell. Number 8 Speaking of strong women in gaming, the Mass Effect series introduced us to Jack. This hardcore lady was Severus' Subject Zero, and with her hostile attitude stemming from a past filled with torture and imprisonment, she goes on a rampage when she's released by Commander Shepard. She is tough, crass, and just about as unladylike as it gets. Plus, she gets a few bonus points for having the name Jack. She makes the number 8 spot on our list a real no-brainer. Number 7 Now this one's sure to piss a few people off. Everyone's favorite Hylian that ever donned a set of tights, it's Link. Traveling across vast landscapes, defeating harsh dungeons, and slaying hundreds of vicious monsters along the way, all while wearing a miniskirt and being escorted by a fairy. It certainly doesn't help that the series is named after the princess you're supposed to rescue. Imagine if Mario Brothers had been called The Adventures of Princess Peach. Number 6 Eco was a cult hit among many gamers. The simple story followed the protagonist, Eco, as he led a young woman named Yorda through a ruined castle, hoping to eventually escape. The boy with horns who stars in this classic is just a bit effeminate. Maybe it's just me, but I always got a real womanly vibe from this character. Number 5 Coming up at number 5, it's Vega from the Street Fighter series. Now this guy must have had a little sugar in his tank, if you know what I mean. I mean seriously, when I was a kid and first fought him, I thought it was a topless woman. Even fighting bare-chested, it's hard to tell the gender of this character. He wears a mask when fighting, which isn't to make him look cool, but rather to protect his beautiful face from scratches. Oh, and speaking of scratches, that's this delicate flower's main attack. He climbs around the arena and scratches you with his Freddy Krueger-esque claws. Number 4 Okay, so in reality, if we hadn't limited ourselves to one character per franchise, we probably could have filled this entire list with Final Fantasy characters. Why is it that the Final Fantasy worlds always need to be saved by the most effeminate people available? Yeah, I guess it is probably because they are saving it from the most effeminate villains imaginable. Now, while most heroes and villains in the Final Fantasy universe probably belong on this list, we have chosen to give our number 4 position to Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Cloud mostly gets this dubious honor because of the incident in the wall market, where Cloud dresses like a girl. Now, if this isn't enough proof for you that he belongs on this list, remember, if you do everything right, Don Corneo will choose Cloud over two attractive girls who happen to actually be women. Plus, look at that sword of his. Think he might be compensating for something? Number 3 At number 3, we have a little guy by the name Flea. Featured as a boss in Chrono Trigger, as well as a secret boss in Chrono Cross, it's confirmed in both games that he is a male. Despite his womanly appearance, despite the long braided ponytail, despite the fact that he has freaking tits, hell, he even seduces Chrono using charm in the middle of the battle. Flea is a pretty powerful magician. Maybe his appearance is all an illusion, but as far as I'm concerned, Flea is more than qualified to take the number three spot on our list. Number 2 This one may be a bit controversial. You remember the egg-spitting pink Yoshi from Super Mario 2, Birdo? Yep, this bright pink egg-spitting bow-wearing dragon from Mario's dreams is actually a guy. Nintendo is a little shady about this whole issue, using feminine pronouns in more recent games. However, the original game manual says, and I quote, He thinks he's a girl and he spits eggs from his mouth. He'd rather be called Birdetta. 
I'm not entirely sure if Nintendo is ashamed of Birdo's gender identity issues, or if they're just being politically correct by calling a transgender character by the pronoun that they associate themselves as. Eh, maybe that's a little deep. It's just a game. Number one. So, uh, what's so androgynous about this one? She doesn't look like a guy at all. I mean, the nun costume's a little weird, but she's not manly at all. Wait, what? Oh god, really? No way. I'll be right back. Okay, this is Bridget from Guilty Gear. He was born as a twin in a small village in England. There, they believe twins of the same gender is bad luck. Really? So his parents named him Bridget and raised him as a girl. It's funny, I know a lot of parents who would think that their son growing up to be a cross-dressing non-prize fighter to be pretty unlucky. Anyway, when he got older, he decided he wanted to prove his masculinity. So rather than cutting his hair and maybe changing out of the sexy nun costume, he becomes a yo-yo wielding bounty hunter. Pretty logical, I guess. So it should be pretty obvious why he deserves the number one spot. I mean, look at him. His ambiguous gender has even spawned a few memes on the internet, being named the most popular trap of all time. But hey, everyone's gay for Bridget. Well, that's all for our show today. Did you agree with our list? Have some characters you'd like to add? Make sure to let us know in the comments. And remember, if you want to see more Pony Arcade, make sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! See you around!